In this video, I am going to show how to draw and label the TS of testes. In the TS of testes, we are able to see the transfer section of seminiferous tubules. Between the seminiferous tubules, we draw cells which are the Leydig cells. Now we start by drawing the cuboidal epithelium which is the germinal epithelium lining the spots or seminiferous tubules. Then there are pyramidal, large pyramidal cells which are the Sertoli cells. Next, we draw a row of cells above the cuboidal epithelium that is the spermatogonial cells. Then we draw a second layer of cells that is the primary spermatocytes. Above the layer of primary spermatocytes is another layer of cells which is the secondary spermatocytes. So these secondary spermatocytes then have another layer above them which is the spermatids. So, spermatids then differentiate and give rise to the sperms. Some of the sperms attach themselves to the Sertoli cells. So, this is how we complete the diagram. Now, let us start labeling the diagram. So, these three tubes that we can see here is the seminiferous tubules. The seminiferous tubules are responsible for production of sperms. So, in the lumen of the seminiferous tubules, the sperms that are produced then pass through the rete testes and outside the testes into the epididymis through vasa efferentia. The cells in between the seminiferous tubules are the interstitial cells or the Leydig cells. These cells are the cells which produce the male hormone testosterone. Next, we label the outermost row in the seminiferous tubule that is the germinal epithelium. The germinal epithelium gives rise to the spermatogonial cells which is the layer inside that. So these spermatogonial cells divide by mitosis giving rise to spermatogonium A and B. The spermatogonium B then differentiates to form the primary spermatocyte. This primary spermatocyte now undergoes meiosis. After the first meiotic division the chromosome number is halved and there are two haploid cells formed which are the secondary spermatocytes. So the third row of cells is the row of secondary spermatocyte. The secondary spermatocyte then divides by meiosis again the second meiotic division to form four spermatids that is the last row or the fourth row of cells. The spermatids then differentiate to form sperms. The sperms some of them attach to the Sertoli cells to derive nutrition. The process of formation of sperms is called as spermatogenesis and the process of differentiation of sperms from spermatids is called as spermiogenesis.